Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Super Bonus Round. We're back with more Star Fox Adventures with Jad Peanut. Hey. Okay, so when we last left off, we completed the Lightfoot uh, Village's stupid-ass challenges. And now, uh, we gotta get that Krizoa spirit. And then possibly catch Krizoa virus. Yep. I, uh... Yeah, don't attend CPAC. Not only because it uh, has a lot of scum there, but it's just crawling with the Krizoa virus. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I heard about what happened. Yeah. People are saying the entire administration might be infected now. Well, I mean, that, that, I mean that's true, but now they have the cor cor coronavirus. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sure. Uh, oh. oh, okay. So I, I think I know what I have to do. There you go. Life is easy by the light of day. Look at the. Wow, the audio is really delayed on here for whatever reason. Alright, what are you I singing? That theme from Night Trap. Oh. I didn't. Well, I guess Night Trap did have a theme song, I just didn't know what it was. You'll get caught in the night, night trap. It's ridiculously 80s. Yeah. We never did find out if, uh... We never did find out if people wanted us to play more of it. I uh, know uh, you ran into a problem because you didn't know that they changed the color password or not. No, I also didn't play. know that, um... That if you fail, you have to start the whole fucking game over again. Mm hmm. Oh, it gets faster now. Oh boy. No. Nah. Oh, almost got it. Oh. Yeah, don't bother. Don't bother trying to advise me on timing. You're three seconds off. Oh uh, boy. <laughs> now, I don't have a guide open this time. I'm gonna try and see if I can wing it. Let's see how long that lasts. Okay, so up we go. Mm. Well, no fetal position. Yeah, no fetal position because it's not a power, and he just gets absorbed. He's taking in the Krizoa virus. I'm like, well, it's uh, it's here. Might as well just let it into my body. If you can't beat him, join him. <laughs> Yeah, my work is like totally out of hand sanitizer because of this craziness. Oh uh, yeah, people are getting pretty crazy out there. Oh, we finally see one of these things up close, and they're uh, they're they're about as beautiful as I thought they were. Yeah, <laughs> the fine testicles with no, they they they're still like frogs with wings. And they still laugh like Gontilda. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure those are generic sounds. Mm. So I just played Sonic Pursers for the first time, by the way. Oh, good. Is it, uh, is it any good? Yeah, it's okay. I mean, it's a lot more playable when you compare it to uh, Unleashed or some of the other Sonic games. I heard one of the things about it is it's like impossibly short or something. It's like it's like it's a bit too short. Yeah. So you might be you might beat it in a couple of hours. Well, we'll see if that's true because I only played a few stages so far. Oh, that was simple. There's Phallus Chin again. The test of fear. You must stand and face your deepest fears. Keep the guideline within the green area. If you succeed, I will become yours to return to the Krizoa Palace. I don't give a fuck if the world is split into pieces. Okay, so... What? You gotta keep this bar in between the middle. 
<laughs> while these illusions terrorize you. Whoa. I guess Fox is afraid of dinosaurs. Mm hmm. This is literally all you have to do. Mm -hmm. He's afraid of general skip. Ah, I lost. Oh. Ah, uh. oh, oh, I'm tweaking out, man. I'm tweaking out. Try again. Whoa! I was thinking I thought that was the spirit talking. You actually thought that was the spirit talking for a minute? Yeah. You're a pussy bitch. Get good. Now you gotta go all the way through here again, little pussy. Your greatest fear: doing this world over again. Ah! Okay. <laughs> no. And now for your true greatest fear: bringing Tricky back with you to Star Fox. <laughs> oh god! Uh, for a second, uh, when that was when it sounded like a, like one of those uh, demotivational ASMR videos. You have a tiny dick and you're a big simp. She's never gonna love you. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone I know is mad at me because I started talking about simps more. <laughs> Uh, it, it's all because of uh, I've been watching KZ Excellence uh, Kingdom uh. Hearts Marathon and uh, he's been talking about the simp memes a lot so uh, uh. my favorite simp meme is always going to be um, you You might as well call me Homer because of how much I simp son <laughs> oh my god I'm like <laughs> that's too clever to not ever say ever again back from all you little bitch All right, now I'm scared. People are getting sick and tired of you pulling up that shimp shit. Afraid? I'm already. I already know people are tired of my uh, me talking about simps. <laughs> I just think the concept is so funny. Like it's one I've always known about, but I didn't know how to phrase. They're making a minions too. Never yeah, we know. Of them. Never. Paul W. S. Anderson is about to ruin another Capcom franchise. <laughs> and yes, he's putting his wife in it again. We don't know why. <laughs> I think this is the end. General scales. Yep, yeah, that was the end. You're into four. Ugh. I might, that, that, would just, that would just make me sick. Oh, uh, I just saw this uh, Twitter post. Uh, this is guy Funny. wondering uh, about the gender roles in 4. Oh, God. Like, uh, if a giant guy swallowed a little guy, uh, would it count as homoeroticism? Or if the little guy was straight, uh, would that make the swallower a gay cannibal or something? I think or? you're just- I think you're all just thinking too hard about fetishizing eating people alive. <laughs> and that was the third Krizoa spirit, so we got half of them now. Oh, there's only six of them in this game? That's what- according to the General Pepper's little map thingy there, yes. So yeah, we're pretty much at the half point of this game now. Yeah, we got- once I put it back, and there's- we only have four spell stones. Oh god, his chin really does look phallic. Wait, who is- man, like you must be like way behind now. Unless you're seeing Fox climb up now. I'm seeing him climb up right now. Oh, you're, you're looking at- that's right, you're looking at the Krizoa spirit up top. Yeah, yeah that's, um, it, it but it, looks if like your a, dick looks, look, looks like that, see a doctor? Especially if the balls hang low like that. Do your balls hang low? I don't know how the song goes. And it definitely doesn't have the word balls on it. Yeah. 
<laughs> Buddy boy. Come on here. Oh, you say I'm not the microphone. Don't get any ideas. Well, the audio is like way off on my end. Yo, oh boy. Well, that's okay. Like, I'm, I'm listening to the Elgato. I'm not listening to uh, mine. Ah. Because the audio so would be fine buddy in the episode. Us once again. Buddy, I know you can't hear me, but hello. Uh, You're a little bugger. Uh, no, don't chew on that. No, 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 don't chew on that. As every session starts. You know, you ought, you ought to, like, get a custom-made uh, toy for him that looks like a, a microphone wire and just give him that that you want. Oh, yeah, definitely. Files he just immediately goes for. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm sure there's, like, a chew toy for animals of a microphone, that, but that doesn't sound like that would be out of the realm of possibility. Hey, hey, don't paw at that. Don't paw at that. I mean, they have a dog toy of, like, a muscular wolf for Sona. It keeps, it keeps popping up on my mention on my uh, on my advertisements on Facebook. What the? Hell? I'll put it. I'll put it up on screen if I find a picture of it. Please put up a picture of this. It's it's a buff wolf with, with like a six pack, <laughs> and it's a chew toy for dogs. Somebody uh -huh. just really wanted their merchandiser for Sarno and found the best possible outlet that isn't actually selling them to furries. Wanna go under the blanket? Huh? Is that why you're pawing under it? Looks like, yes, give me my crawl space. Yep, under the blanket it goes. <laughs> ah, Thorntail Hollow, it's been a while. Mm -hmm. Last time we were here, we had to turn on the nightlight. And what a joy that. It was a whole episode. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure that episode has the most views. <laughs> okay, back to the palace, and hopefully, Fox won't be horny on Main again. I don't think he's gonna see Crystal again until we actually rescue her for real. The only one way to find out. <sighs> that's a meme that's now old. The Stars and Stripes meme. Oh. You, you know the one where like, they would blast into space and they play that dance song? Uh, no. Oh I don't my know god, that you one. didn't know about that? <sighs> well, it's, no. a couple, it's a couple of years old now. It was it was a pretty fun one. It was one I wish I cop capitalized on in the bully playthrough, but I never did. <laughs> one of uh, me my actually got uh, got in on was that I'm going to tell my kids this was blank. Oh yeah, that was always that was a good one too. Yeah, and I showed you that video I did of that, right? I'm going to tell my kids this was Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. So the great thing about the Krizoa Palace uh, is we don't have to go through the dungeons or anything again. We just go right up and deliver the uh, Krizoa. Oh, good, good. Where you staring at? Huh? Yeah? What's the matter, buddy? Where you staring at? Huh? Oh, my God. Like I, I think I just have to follow it all the way up. So what was the worst clickbait video we ever saw on uh, YouTube? Uh, probably the worst one was by this channel I actually do like. Um, they do like uh, uh, there was a they do like they do like their own custom uh, codex for like the characters in Smash that didn't get them, but they uh, oh. they do a lot of. Uh, 
uh, Nintendo Direct leak things, and then like they spend like f half an hour not talking about what they're leaking. Mm -hmm. It's like really fucking stupid. Like the worst clickbait in the world to me is like just a complete waste of time. That you can like. Yeah, I understand the whole point of it to get somebody, but like it's like yeah, if it's like you get somebody, it's not what you're expecting. That's one thing you accomplish something, but it you accomplish nothing by wasting my time. I think the worst one I ever saw was this thing called Freddy Does Betty. It was some guy who was, was it a trying to was it a Flintstones clickbait? Yep, it was some guy doing really bad jokes and impersonations of the Flintstones over old footage. And throughout the entire time, there was porno music going, going. Even when other music was playing over it. Ah, so the porno music sounded like those weird beatboxing videos that people are making. Yep. Pretty much. And this really? guy just couldn't do an impersonation to save his life. Alright, where do I stick this Grizzoa spirit? I thought I figured you'd stick it here. And it's, uh, maybe I'll link that to you to see, so you can see how what I suffered through. Pony, did you fuck Betty? Oh, uh, no, friend. <laughs> yeah, you do a way better impersonation of Bonnie than this guy did. Hey, Fred, I'll let you fuck my wife if you give me that box of pebbles. Barney, are you trying to cock me for a, bu a bowl of pebbles? Yeah, Fred. Go cook. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? That's what do you think they call it? Bed cook. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I oh, okay. All right, figured it out. So there's a door downstairs locked by. A sharp claw disguise button. Ah, uh, and uh, in bed and back then they used frogs as condoms. Eh, it's a uh, little it's thing. Water, and he spits out the cum. <laughs> oh, hey, you started it. <laughs> oh, uh, speaking of uh, frogs and penises. Uh, no. <laughs> 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 wow, that was a quick no. <laughs> uh, You're gonna tell me anyway, aren't you? Possibly. Cause I really <laughs> there was another video I saw on YouTube of a chimp who found a frog in its pen. It. Uh, maybe I should uh, just link it. To your save it as a reaction video he, or something. He throat fucks the frog, doesn't he? Yep, he peels the mouth open and just goes to town on its mouth. Mm, probably a banana. At one point, it was even laying on its back and moving it up and down. Jesus fucking. And you could see its little legs kicking as to try to escape the chimp's grip. This is horrible. Yeah, and even worse, it was still in a bunch of kids on a school trip. Well, what you doing to that frog, mommy? He's giving it CT. The frog is giving the chimpanzee CPR. <laughs> oh my god. Oh He's god. just doing it wrong, is the problem. <laughs> oh god. Uh, Mother Nature's fucked up. Okay, he goes here. Okay, there you go. Ah! Mm. Uh, Thanks for putting me back, asshole. Okay, that's number three. Yep, that's half of them. Cosmic four. Hmm. All right, so I met. I think I know exactly where we're going next. Hmm. Unless I'm wrong. Mm 
-hmm. Alright, so next time on the Super Bonus Room, we're going to go look around the Warp Stone for a Thorntail in Distress. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.